Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be setting up machine inside of Cakewalk. There are two ways I set up machine inside of Cakewalk. Let me show you those two ways. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk. This is my dark theme. If you're interested in this theme or my light theme, I have a link below in the description that you can download it for free. All right, let's get right into this. Uh, I already kind of have machine set up on here. So I'm gonna go hit the plus sign. We're gonna go to instrument and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna hit on machine to software. All right, so here we are in machine. This is what it looks like. First thing we wanna do is make sure we have all the sound going out of each track. So if we have drums in here, we can have all those drums going out to different tracks. If we have samples in here, if we're using it for instruments, all of them will be assigned to their own kind of channel. First thing you wanna do is make sure you are on sound. This option right here that says sound. And if you, uh, there's two different ways to set it up. Let me show you both ways. If you hit on this circle right here above the little plug icon, hit on that. It'll give you an option for output. So we're gonna be on output and we wanna be on sound and we're on audio, right? So we're gonna hit right here where it says group, click on that. And we're gonna to go to external one. So we're gonna make sure it's going out to external one port, right? And we're gonna do the same thing for sound two. And guess what? That's gonna be two. We're gonna go here, put this as three. And like I told you, I told you I'm gonna show you another way as well. So we're gonna go up here to the mixer. And this option here will bring up the mixer and then we can just click on where it says group and we can continue along the way of uh, adding these to cakewalk or should I say into a uh, machine. All right, so now we have all 16 channels set up on here. I'm gonna click back on to this uh, mixer and now it'll bring me back to my ideas section. This is the idea section. If you see another section, like it may be on, um, the view may be on song mode or mixer. Make sure you're on idea if you want to look like, want it to look exactly how this is set up right now. And you have a small, medium, large if you want to make them bigger or smaller. But I'm going to leave it as it is right now. Um, and a bonus for if you guys are watching this video, I have just released my smash kit. It's XEL smash kit. Definitely check it out, pick it up. Uh, it's on my website. The link is below in the description if you want to use that because I'll be using it in this video for examples. So now that we have that, so we have the out set up. So now we want to make sure that we can set up the bars for machine. So I'm going to click on right here where the, I'm going to double click underneath where it says scene and it's going to make a pattern. And what I want this pattern to be is about four bars long right now. So where it says auto right here, I'm going to double click on there. And I'm going to put four. And machine has created four bar, a four bar loop. And what I can do is double click up here and go uh, four bar. All right, so four bar set up one and I'm going to save it. Hit on this option here to go save. And now we have that four bar set up save inside of Cakewalk. If you have anything you're loading inside of machine, now all of them will, will be the four bar length. Uh, let's say you want to do eight bars, right? And now it is an eight bar loop. And I can go up here and double click and change this four to an eight. And I'm going to save that. So now we have, so now we have an eight bar loop. So we have a four and an eight bar loop inside here. So everything is set up the way we want it. Um, and we can close out of machine. And let's go and set up some drums. So I'm gonna delete this one that's on here, delete that track. Usually when I'm setting up machine, I'll create a folder. So I'll make sure this advanced, this advanced is actually down, create a folder and I'll insert instrument per track out. I'm gonna actually show you the split instruments track cause that's the one I prefer, but I wanna show you this one as well, just in case you don't wanna do this, the the MIDI and the split track. All right, hit create. All right, so now we have 16 tracks. Let's go in here and we have machine set up. So now I can go to my presets. All right, so I already have um, a drum kit set up and this is my uh, smack kit. So 
All these drums that you're going to hear are from my kit. So like I said, the link is below in the description if you want to download this kit. All right. So I, I had this one set up for eight bars. So I'm still only going to do four bars. So let's set Cakewalk to four bars. And I'm going to loop it. All right. So now the thing you'll see is I can use my machine over here. And as you see, all the tracks are assigned. And you'll see the, the input coming into the track. All right. Uh, so let's make a little drum pattern. So I'm going to hit record inside a machine. Uh, it's not going to record anything inside of Cakewalk, but I'm going to use the record for the metronome inside of Cakewalk to get this started on the machine. All right. I'm going to hit uh, record on Cakewalk so I can get my count in. All right, simple, quick uh, drum pattern that we set up in here. So now we have our drum pattern. Let's say we want to keep this and put it inside a cakewalk so we can do like the mixing and stuff. Uh, and we want to you know, make sure we can drop things out or add things if we want to. The easiest way to do this is uh, we're gonna go into group. Uh, once we're in group, we're going to hit on this uh, circle icon above the plug, and we're going to go to input, right? And there's routing options for the MIDI in here, basically. So uh, off, if it's off right now, it'll send all of them into Cakewalk as individual files, but whatever is highlighted is what you'll actually hear. And the other ones will kind of be muted in the background. So what you want to do is set it on manual to move the MIDI over. So the manual will actually allow all of the tracks to play their own individual sounds. Uh, and if you're doing just a drum kit, the drum kit will pull everything inside of one single MIDI file. It won't be separate files uh, like if you're doing the manual. So I'm going to do the manual one. I'm going to click on this MIDI option right here, and I'm just going to drag it up. All right. So now we have the MIDI here. So if we double click, as you see, everything is starting on C5, but there's no sound in C5. C3 is the kick. This is the snare. This is the hi-hat. So all of them are in the wrong positions. So basically what you can do is hit this one. I'm going to just drop this down two octaves. Come on. All right. And I'm going to grab, hit click on the second one, which is the snare. Let's click on highlight that one. Make sure all those are highlighted. It's going to hold the down or the number two on the keyboard to drag those down. And we're going to do the third one, which is the hi-hat. And we're going to bring those down as well. All right. So now all of them should actually play. And once again, all these drums are from my drum kit, my smash kit, my XL smash kit. So definitely get that from below in the description section. All right. So um, if you didn't want to actually move these around, the other method is the way I'm going to actually show you now uh, how to actually get this in here. So we can actually delete this out of here. Uh, a closed machine, and we still get it to play. So from here, you can do all your mixing on the track itself. Then you can freeze it and have the, the WAV files if you wanted to do that, or you can still leave it in the MIDI and just kind of drag them out, and you will be perfectly fine uh, doing that as well. So if I wanted to, like you know, add another kick somewhere, I could do that. 
Let's add another kick right here. And I mean, it's just that simple. Of, if you add another section onto this, let's say you wanted to uh, copy all the drums over, just duplicate that over. So, um, and we can take that first, um, this kick off of there now. Uh, we can stretch the loop out to eight bars. All right, so there's that, right? So I'm gonna actually delete all of these, delete this track folder, yes, and all the things inside of it. All right, and let's go back up here. So this time I'm gonna do the split instrument track, then I'm gonna hit uh, generate or create. All right, so this time it created one MIDI track and the rest of them are audio tracks. So I can drag this up to the top, all right? And um, open up machine. And once again, I can do the drop down and set up my machine. I have this one set on eight bars. This is still my drum kit. And if I go to sounds, I can check and make sure that all uh, export, export channels are on there, which they are. And now um, we can just go through and set everything up. And once again, you just do the same thing, record a nice drum track. Uh, this time, let's change the tempo. Let's do like a 92. Let's do a boom bap ish kind of beat. So 92 beats per minute. And chord. All right, so now we have the eight bars of drums and uh, I'm gonna quantize it from the machine. And now that we set it up under this way, so we have that one MIDI, we can just have the one MIDI drum track uh, to go out. So I'm gonna hit on group, I'm gonna hit on this icon here and I'm gonna go to input. And input, I'm gonna change this to drum kit. So now when I drag this out, it's only going to be that one single drum kit. And I have no idea why it always goes to that first one, but I'm going to bring it back up to the top to where it's on the MIDI itself. So now all the MIDI is playing from there and I can grab all of these and hit delete. And So now we have that in here. So I can double click on here, bring it up inside my piano roll and pretty much manipulate or do whatever I want to to the drums itself. So I'm gonna grab all of them. Let's do quantize on here and let's do the quantize by notes. And boom. all right, so now we have all these on here. Let's make sure all the kicks are up to Mm -hmm. All right, so now we have a um, drum pattern in here. And if I wanted to see them, I can click on this waveform here, or I can just record them directly into the track itself. So if I wanted to um, do that, or I can even freeze the tracks so that they'll be in place. So these are the two methods that I know that you can use inside of machine for your drums to actually have them spread out and separate it throughout your tracks. Right, so now if you have another machine, you can just pull that up. You can add your like a sample in here. 
you know, and, and chop it up and do whatever you want to do. And that way you can actually make a beat just kind of using machine inside the cakewalk. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed showing you guys the two ways you can set up the machine inside a cakewalk. If you have any questions or concerns, anything like that, definitely leave them below in the comment section. If you want to, you can definitely pick up the drum kit that I'm using inside here. It is free from my site, uh, XL Smash Kit. Definitely check it out. Go download it if you want to. If you really want to learn more about Cakewalk, I have a beginner's tutorial, which is right here. And you can definitely check it out and see a couple of videos of how to actually get started with Cakewalk. And with that being said, it's your boy, X dot, E dot, L dot, O. Till next time, people. Peace.